Oh, dear. Is anyone else finding our tell-all culture ever so slightly tedious? In the same week as the ever-so-hard-done-by Prince and Princess of Montecito gifted us their Netflix trailer, a glimpse into their upcoming fly-on-the-wall docu-series, the disgraced former health secretary, Matt Hancock, fresh home from his lucrative stint in the jungle, is blessing us again with his pandemic diary. What a time to be alive. This diary will supposedly reveal his side of the story. A story that will be released just in time for Christmas stocking fillers, with part one published in the Daily Mail today, alongside, of course, yet another cringeworthy sit-down tell-all video interview. He's asking us yet again for forgiveness, that he only broke the rules he forced upon each and every one of us because he fell in love. Attempting to justify his adultery as if he's cut some hapless randy teenager unable to control his urges, rather than a fully grown man tasked with leading us out of a pandemic. One might think that the way to win back the hearts and minds of the public would be to dedicate the rest of his political career to the people, the constituents he's supposedly there to represent. But no, instead, he cleanses his soul in public. And it would seem an unf un unfortunate number of us are more than happy to lap it up. He came third in I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, after all. So, Mr Hancock will clean up with what's reported to be millions of pounds, while the rest of us, back in real Britain, are left picking up the cost of his disastrous lockdown policies, the policies he himself thought were too, he was too big, important and besotted to follow. They get to move on from their mistakes and make shed loads of money in the process, while we live with the consequences. At the same time, the awkward duo, Chris Whitty and Patrick Valance, have doubled down on the righteousness of their lockdown policies in a new report. They did, though, warn that we face a prolonged period of excess deaths due to lockdown effects. I don't remember that appearing on one of their endlessly tedious slideshows. Officials are now warning that lockdown policies could have left many of us with weakened immune systems, impacting those who are least at risk of COVID. Children. Six children have now died of strep A this winter. What is usually a mild bug, but can, in the most severe cases, be lethal, is nearly five times higher among infants than before COVID struck. Scientists have said the decision to close schools and keep children apart during lockdown left a wider pool of youngsters without immunity to the bacteria. Who could have possibly foreseen that might come to be? Just like Meghan and Harry, who likely never admit they too may have played a part in the breakdown of their relationship with the royal family. It appears those responsible for some of the most authoritarian policies our countries have ever faced and decisions that cost lives and will continue to cost lives are doing all they can to make the most of their newfound fame. It seems we love a tell-all in this country, but we're also smart, certainly smart enough to see through the shameless self-promotion.